Hello and welcome to this brief video tutorial on how you would go about purchasing the Ninja Kira or Katana tokens on the Helix decentralized crypto exchange. To give you a little background, I have a friend who was looking to purchase these tokens, the Ninja Kira and Katana tokens, and was using his MetaMask wallet and doing the transfers on the Ethereum chain initially. However, he was just getting crushed by the fees with which he was being charged. And I'm going to talk about some of those fees and I'm going to show you how you can do this for like $2.50 in fees leveraging Coinbase and the Atom token. And I'm going to walk you step by step through that. Now, before we do that, remember, this is not investment advice. I am not an investment advisor. I assume no legal responsibility whatsoever, and there's no legal advice being offered here. Again, you are on your own. This is being demonstrated for technical and entertainment purposes only. This is not investment advice. And again, I got to stress that. So let's go ahead and let's dive in. Again, I've got a buddy of mine. He's looking to buy these three tokens. He was using MetaMask in order to make it happen, but again, the fees were just crushing him. Now, you'll notice right up here on the top, it says onboard onto Injective instantly with Fiat. Well, if you were to click this, uh, it's gonna take you to this uh, Kato site is what I'll pronounce it as, but you can see right over here, you're looking at a $1.99 processing fee, a $5.51 networking fee, so, just to make this happen, you're looking at about $750 in fees going this route. And again, this is before we get into any of the trading fees that you might incur. So let me go ahead and close that down. So here's how I did it. I simply used Coinbase and I purchased Atom Cosmos on Coinbase. I moved that into my Kepler wallet. Right now, I'm going to skip those steps because those steps are pretty straightforward. You buy the Atom on uh, Coinbase. I paid a dollar ninety nine Coinbase fee, and I believe it was a twenty two cent uh, additional fee, and then it was about twenty cents to move it from Coinbase into my Kepler wallet. So once you've done that, all you're going to do is you're going to come here to the HelixApp.com website. We're going to click on Connect Wallet. I'm going to go ahead and confirm. And I'm going to connect my Kepler wallet. Again, the fees associated with that Ethereum blockchain and the MetaMask wallet are five, almost five times more or five times what it is to do it this way. So I got my Atom on Coinbase. I transferred it into my Kepler wallet. You can see I've attached the Kepler wallet here. It gives me my injective address and that's fantastic. And so here's what we're going to do now. Once we've got the wallet connected, you're simply gonna to go to account and you'll notice that it doesn't show that I have any Atom here. It shows I've got some Cura uh, and it shows I've got a you know, very small amount of uh, injective. So I'm gonna find Atom, right? So we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna locate Atom and you can see Atom's down here toward the bottom and I'm gonna say deposit. And what that means is I'm gonna be depositing it, depositing it from my wallet here onto the Helix Exchange. Now, one of the things I've noticed is when you transfer Atom into your Kepler wallet, if you're doing this simultaneously, uh, you definitely wanna click refresh to see what your balance is because as I did some previous changes preparing to make this video for my buddy, uh, I went ahead and was making multiple uh, deposits and this would show as zero even though I had put some Atom into my wallet. So then you just click refresh and it should show up. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take 6.5 Atom, right? I'm gonna say deposit now. I'm gonna confirm, you'll notice we're gonna get a small, very small fee. Uh, and here it is right here, because there's a huge window right here. And you can see it's eight cents, right? That's it, eight cents. So let me click approve. You did. I don't need to put a memo in there for my purposes. And we're gonna be moving, you know, again, approximately $70 here. So we're gonna let this finish. It actually does go rather quickly. And then you can see the balance has been adjusted. So now where would I see, where did the atom go? Well, if you come back here to account, you're gonna be able to see that I now have six and a half atom here on the Helix app exchange, right? So what do we do now? Well, once we've deposited it, we wanna buy either Kira or Ninja 
or Katana, well, we're going to come up here to trade and we're going to swap, right? We're going to swap the atom to injective. And that's easy enough to do. We come up here, I'll say atom, and we're going to do the max. But first, let me pick injective and we click on max. Now you'll notice we're going to pay about a 27 cent fee, not very large. Now, this right here kind of threw me the first time where it says rate expired. So when I click that, I thought, oh, it's going to make the swap in three, two, one. No, that's not what it's doing here. Your price is locked in. When I click on this button, the price is locked in for five seconds. So if I click, you got to click again in order to initiate the swap. So it's going to come over here and take a look at that. We're looking at a four cent fee. I'll click approve. And we just swapped six and a half atom for injective. And again, 12 cents, right? So the whole thing going from the purchase on Coinbase, paying the fees there, moving it into my Kepler wallet, going ahead and doing the swap um, and swapping the atom to injective, we're under $2.50. Uh, the fee that my friend saw on MetaMask just to make the transfer from Coinbase to MetaMask or to do the Kato piece was $8. So again, sure, it's an extra step. You've got to do a swap, but you're saving yourself $7.50. So, okay, back to swap. So we're done there. So if I was to come to my account now, you'll notice that it should show that we've swapped out and we ended up with one69 injective. Okay, so how do we buy the Katana, the Ninja, uh, and the Kira? Well, we're going to click, sorry, we're going to click on trade, and I'm just going to do a spot trade, right? We're going to do the on-chain order book here. Now, you'll notice that there's these pairs that are listed here, and on the exchanges, right, you need to have whatever's on the right-hand side. So here's Ninja, and you can see I need to have Injective in order to make that purchase, and that was the whole idea behind us swapping the atom to injective. Now, if I wanted to come down and buy Kira, you can see Kira is listed down here. Uh, and it actually looks like it's uh, up 100% there. So, and they've got, uh, again, some other things that you can buy uh, with injective, right? I've got Ninja, Kira, and I think Katana was the other one I said. Uh, and I think that's a little bit further down, but you get the idea, right? Um, USDT, you can buy a ton of stuff with USDT as well. So we're going to be interested in uh, Kira, as I think what we wanted to buy. So I'll just I'll just buy some more Kira. So let's go ahead and click on Kira, and it's going to bring the chart up here, and you can see it looks like it's been at this value here, this point oh 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 six for quite some time. But it's super simple to do this. You're going to click on Buy Kira, and we're paying with Injective. So how much injective, and it gives me my available right up here, how much do I want to spend? Well, let's, I'll do two. So we'll go 50% and I'll click on buy. Now I'm not doing a thing where, and again, it's a penny to do this. So I click okay, and it's going to go ahead and make the purchase for me, right? Your order's been placed. So in the meantime, let's flip over here and maybe we want to buy, um, not Ninja, where was the Katana? There it is. Here's the Katana. Well, Katana's down 56%. So maybe we don't buy Katana. All right, we'll buy, um, we'll do Ninja in Injective here. So we'll buy some Ninja. So we'll come over here. You can see I still have 0.849047 Injective available. Click on Buy Ninja. Click on 100%. We'll spend all we've got left. And you'll notice it's going to pop uh, the fee for me, right? I click Buy. And here we go. Again, a penny to make that happen. I click approve, and you can see there's definitely some movement over here with uh, with the Ninja token. And again, that was it. That was all right around two dollars and fifty cents. And so if you're if you're messing around with the Ethereum blockchain and trying to transfer the injective that way, uh, you're going to get smashed with the fees. Now, again, maybe you know the fees don't make that big of a difference for you, but for my buddy, he was very interested in how to do this in a cheaper fashion. So let's wrap it up by going to the account. Uh, and you can see I've got my Kira. I don't I guess the injective may not have gone through yet if I, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the Ninja uh, may not have been uh, completed yet. And I'm, I'm not gonna make, make you guys wait around for that. Uh, so anyway, you can see now I've got uh, 335,000 Kira. 
$116.73. And that is how you can get these tokens uh, on the Helix Exchange, which is running on that injective uh, network for $2.50 in fees approximately, right? Buy the Atom on Coinbase, transfer it into your Kepler wallet, connect your Kepler wallet right here in the Helix app, go ahead and deposit that Atom onto the Helix Exchange, swap it for injective, and then all you have to do is go in and pick out whichever one of those tokens that you are interested in. All right. Well, I really appreciate you guys watching. Again, please remember, not investment advice. I'm not responsible for any money that you lose or any fees that you incur and all that great stuff. But again, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps you out and I hope this is uh, able to get you involved in the Helix App Exchange and you can get some Katana, some Kira and some Ninja. Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day.